let's find the double angle of the sine and cosine and then the half angle of the sine and cosine for the tangent of theta is equal to negative 3. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go ahead and I know that uh, tangent is equal to y over x which makes this equal to negative 3 over 1. And because the sine is less than 0 in this case this means that uh, tangent's either negative in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4 and because sine's negative it has to be in quadrant 4. Alright, so I know my tangent's going to be equal to um, 3 squared, the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared which is equal to the square root of 10. And this means that uh, my sine's going to be equal to um, negative 3 over the square root of 10 and my cosine is going to be equal to negative 1 over this, or excuse me, 1 over the square root of 10. Alright, so the sine, the double angle of the sine is going to be equal to 2 times 1 over the square root of 10 times negative 3 square root of 10 which makes it negative 6 over 10, which is equal to negative 3 over 5. For the double angle of the cosine, we're going to take cosine squared, which in this case is equal to 1 over square root of 10 squared minus negative 3 over square root of 10 squared is equal to 1 over 10 minus 9 over 10, which is equal to negative 8 over 10, um, which can be simplified down to negative 4 over 5. The half angle of the sine is going to be equal to, in this case it's a positive value, because the half angle takes you up to quadrant 2. So in this case, it's going to be plus square root of 1, and then minus the cosine. But the cosine is going to be 1 over square root of 10. A second here. Now, excuse me. Um, see the sine and cosine. 1 minus square root of 10, and all this over 2. Finally, down here, we're going to get plus square root of all over 20. This is as far as you need to go, but you can pull it out farther. You can pull a 1 half out because you get 10 minus square root of 10, which is the same thing as 4 times 5, and you can pull this 1 fourth out and make it into a 1 half. So out here you'll have 1 half square root of 10 minus root 10 over 5. But that's only optional. Yeah, that should be 10. Alright, so we have the cosine here. Cosine will be negative in this case. We'll have 1 plus 1 over the square root of 10 over 2, which is going to be equal to And I can do exactly what I did up there. It becomes negative 1 half square root of 10 minus root 10 over 5. And that's it.